like the back to school T-Mobile yeah. school deals like if you got a student ID yeah yes yeah, type that so they used me obviously because I was in school then <laughs> um, so they used me to do that that was amazing but I ain't getting nothing out of the company though that's like the but I got, I got, that was my first yo and I got in trouble because I tweeted a check ooh from them yeah I tweeted a check like yo I just got paid blah, blah, blah. I was excited like how much was the check that was like my first hundred thousand dollars okay so the company got mad at you what's the company <laughs> everybody was just angry like you know what I'm saying don't post a check with the account numbers and stuff. Man, you and Twitter, man. <laughs> so that, that 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 that's like the eighth largest mobile company in the world. I heard. Yeah, a lot of. And it's also in South Africa. It's not only in Nigeria. It's in Francophone countries as well. It's in South Africa. It's in um, it's in the Middle East as well. It's in Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was watching sixty. America, but was there a trans? Like the, I'm thinking the UK, obviously Nigeria, a lot yeah. of people go to school. Was there ever a thought like, let me see if I can go to the UK and get a deal? Or was it automatically, let me go to America, let me get a major in Funny America? Funny enough, my deal is actually from the UK. Okay. So it was from the UK, but funny enough, because I was American, the Amer I was just kind of more familiar with that yeah, yeah, yeah. culture, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's why I would, my, if, if you look at my deal, if you look at the papers, it actually says Sony Music UK. Mm. Well, people, a lot of people think I'm signed from America, but my main office is from the UK. It's just I'm American. I kind of gotcha. relate with over the culture over there more. So we're bringing, um, recording. When I first got signed, they were trying to get me to do kind of what they thought would sell. You feel me? So mm. it took time, you know, for me to finally tell them like, look. Like the back to school, T-Mobile, yeah. school deals. Like if you got a student ID, yeah. yes, type that. So they used me, obviously, because I was in school then. <laughs> um, so they used me to do that. That was amazing. But I ain't getting nothing out of the company, though. That's like that. But I got, I got, that was my first. Yo, and I got in trouble because I tweeted a check. Ooh. From them? Yeah, I tweeted a check. Like, yo, I just got paid. Blah, blah, blah. I was excited. Like, How much was the check? That was like my first hundred thousand dollars okay so the company got mad at you what's the company everybody was just angry like you know what i'm saying like don't post a check with the account numbers and stuff man, you and twitter man <laughs> so that, that 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 that's like the eighth largest mobile company in the world i heard yeah a lot of and mobile it's also in south africa it's not only in nigeria it's in francophone countries as well it's in south africa it's in um it's in the middle east as well it's in dubai Qatar, Saudi Arabia. Um, but yeah. yeah, I was watching 60 Minutes a while ago and they were talking about uh, Kenya and how the mobile, I think it's called Peso or something like that, but the mobile banking is real big out there. A lot of the rural areas of Africa, they're saying yeah. they're getting into the mobile bank because they don't, like there's a thing in America called um, like banking deserts where some people can't get access to banks depending on where you live. Yeah. There was like in Africa, it's really bad depending on like if you live in a rural area, but now the mobile.